Whether you want to be a dexterous charmer, a hardy bruiser, or anything in between, Fallout 76's perk system is designed to help you build a better you. Create a character that's perfect for team play or solo adventuring, and don't be afraid to switch things up on the fly. With this new card-based system, you're never locked into your choices. Perk cards in Fallout 76 replace skills from previous titles. Each perk card costs points in its special attribute to equip. Cards of higher rank are created by combining two identical cards of lower rank. Higher rank cards have greater effects. Players can equip multiple cards within a special attribute so long as the total point value of the cards equipped does not exceed the attribute level. The maximum attribute level is 15 for each attribute and 56 across all specials, which averages to 8 per special, or, at the other extreme, 3 sets of 15 and 1 of 11. Players can swap cards at any time. This can be especially useful when switching between solo and group play. At each level up, players can choose one special attribute to increase as well as a new perk card. Use navigation buttons to filter, by special type, through unused perk cards. Players will also receive perk card packs at levels 4, 6, 8, and 10, and on every 5th level up afterwards. After level 50, players will continue to level up and receive card packs but cannot increase or reallocate points to any special attribute, at least before the locked and loaded update that introduced the ability to modify special points and perk card setups. Each pack contains 4 cards, some of which may be level locked. These perk cards require a minimum level to be equipped and will display a padlock in the level needed to equip them. The last one will be a unique, animated foil card for the perk that is revealed. Besides perks that have group effects, perks can be selected to be shared among team members. Each player can only choose one perk to be shared at a time, and the selected perk can be changed at any time during gameplay. However, the player must have a charisma point level that is at least three times the rank of the perk card that is to be shared, regardless of what special attribute the shared perk card belongs to. Shared perk cards will not stack effects if duplicates are equipped or shared. 